A weary paladin strips equipment from the bodies of the dead, singing softly to himself. He looks you up and down, then nods a greeting. He looks up from his mat. And who sent you? He appraises you with a look, then grimly grins. I think I've heard about you. Didn't you free the Meister from the gallows in Driftwood? Ah, yes. Discretion is the soul of valor, as they say. I may have a job for a woman of great valor and discretion. Interested? He taps a finger on the map on the table. Here. In the Black Pits are white magisters. Their operation is shrouded in mystery, and this pricks our ears. We are gravely concerned. We believe the white magisters may have strayed into the darkness. We suspect that Dallas herself and her master, Vriedemann, are the inspiration for these dark endeavors. Look under the white veil of secrecy and report back. How much do you want? I have fewer paladins to pay, so I have ready gold, but there are limits. You think very highly of yourself indeed. We have a deal. He offers you an item. A whistle-like device sits nestled in your hand. When you're ready, send a war owl. Be careful out there. It's a dangerous place these days, and I'd like to think I'll hear from you again. And adventurer. He looks you in the eye. Don't get caught. Oh. Looks like trouble ahead. A divine order kind of trouble. Two white magisters are discussing the fate of three magically bound captives. Captives clad in the dark shroud of the Black Ring, 
Noticing your arrival, the Magisters step back and take hold of their weapons. You. Ah, oh, yes, I remember your scruffy face from Driftwood. Those whites are hypocrites. Every last one of them. The slight girl in front of you must be the youngest soldier you've ever seen. She hums to herself, licking Magister blood from her fingers, then raises her chilling coal black eyes to meet your gaze. The man swaggers up, shaking out the limbs that were bound tightly by the Magisters. As if this were a tavern outhouse rather than a bloodbath, he smiles lazily at you, revealing teeth capped with reflective black metal. I won't lie, I'm damned happy you stopped by right when you did. Poor wretches. They didn't stand a chance. I wonder if they left anything valuable behind. Thanks, darling. Much obliged for letting all the blood out of that magister for me. The black tooth smile grows wider, scrunching his eyes to tiny dark pinpricks in his fleshy face. I've seen it, darling. Won't be standing around yapping to you much longer, that's for sure. I need to report to the Sallow Man, fast as I can drag myself. Bit of a tricksy one, given how I was captured on duty and all. Sallow does not take kindly to failure. But he loves me, so he does. I'm his darling. 
Turning his heel in a puddle of blood, he smiles his black smile at you once more and winks. Later, darling. Consider me not making you my pet, my thanks. Same thing they wanted with all of us, using our source powers to find ancient relics in the caves down the beach. Not what they wanted. I fooled them into believing that I was close, though. But I'd choose licking Sallow's balls over being used like a divining rod for even one more day. I started pretending I couldn't sense any more source-based relics. But I lied, Papa, I lied. There's plenty of power down there. And when I tell the sallow man about it, it'll have all been worth it. Every bruise and scrape. He tips his fingers to his forehead in thanks and turns to leave. You bled him for us? Bled him dry? Bled him so good not even his spirit remains. The dead are my people. That's why Dallas dragged me here, tied me up like a shrieker, and forced me to speak to all the dead in the caves. Told me to ask them where the Aeteran is. I wondered too. Then Dallas slithered right into my mind and told me, you don't need to know what it is to find it. She was right. She has a way of speaking to you that makes you need to do whatever she asks. Turned out the Aeteran was no stranger to death. It spoke to me. Spoke right into my mind like icy curling fingers of something beyond death. Beyond reason. Intriguing. But as soon as I touched it, Dallas tightened her leash around me. Tightened it so I could barely breathe. Never gave up an object of power so fast in my life. She smiles an enigmatic smile, full of darkness, and more than a hint of malice. Only the sallow man can tell me what to do. So I'm going to go ask him. Names have power. I don't think anybody knows his name. He's the strongest among us. Rose from the death fog to lead us to redemption. She smiles, a malicious and hateful little grin. I could arrange an introduction, but given that you saved me, I would recommend against it. Paladin Hardwin's whistle-like device sits nestled in your hand. Wings flutter. A war owl swoops. It plucks the letter from your hand and flies away.
hold my tears when weeping comes.
Reaper for me. Your maker. I heard you might be coming through this way. Good on you for the help you gave Loar. Good on you indeed. He looks up from his map. Your war, Owl, came. I confess, I had no idea just how grave the situation had come to be. The Black Ring, back, for all that's holy. I've informed Lord Ken in Arx. Thank you sincerely for your service. He tosses you a pouch. It's all there. You have your money and my gratitude with it. 